Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Peacefully Creating. I'm so glad to have you here today. Today and the next few weeks, we're gonna talk about the basics with crafting, especially with stamping. The, this week is going to be all about the stamps. Next week will be paper and the following week will be the inks. And then finally, we'll put it all together and see how things work. With these things, you can create wonderful, wonderful projects. Let's look at the wood mounted stamps. The wood mounted stamps are usually in red or sometimes they can also be in gray or other colors. Every company has a different quality of product. A disclaimer right now is the first two stamps on the wood mounted blocks are not from Stampin' Up. They're from some other company. One of the best features is that they are ready to use and you need no mounts for them. They have crisp, clear stamp impressions. Again, that is based on the quality of the stamp. They can be bulky and rather difficult to transport if you are doing crafting in many places. They are labeled with a stamp image. Now we have the cling stamps. The cling stamps are also a rubber stamp. And with this particular product with Stampin' Up, they have, they are mounted on a foam and they are a high quality rubber. The label image, as you see here, is on the outside. It is best to be used with clear blocks or stamparatus, as you see. They are a sa space saver and they don't have that wood block, so they'll mount to blocks because of the stickiness on the outside. And they are very easy to transport. Next, we have the polymer stamps double-sided. This is a unique and uh, patent pending stamp from Stamping Up. They are double-sided, but I want you to notice that they are photopolymer. And the photopolymer is easy to transport. They can be mixed, matched, and blended, and layered because you can see through them. They are porous, and that means they can get stained, as you will see in this picture here. This particular stamp was stained after using it. To uh, locate sentiments quickly, I recommend having a printed side so you know what they are. What do I mean by printed side? On your case when you store it. They need cl uh, clear blocks or the stamparatus or some other thing to mount and can be shaped and curved based on the style of the stamp. The last stamp that we're going to look at is called the Distinctive Stamp Set. The Distinctive Stamp is also very unique. It is either in photopolymer or rubber based. A photorealistic image is what happens when you stamp as you see with this rose. The Distinctive Stamps are patent pending and are only from stamping up. And they give beautiful dimension and depth as you see in the rows. It is a single stamp and you don't need to add to it unless you want to. These are the different types of basic stamps that are out there. Thank you for watching. See you next week when we'll talk about the different types of paper you can use in crafting.